hello everyone welcome to the mathematics of my channel in this video we are going to solve this nice infinite series 1 minus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 6 minus 1 over 9 plus 1 over 11 minus 1 over 14 plus this is going to infinity okay uh, i think uh, you saw the thumbnail so we know the answer pi over 5 times cotangent of pi over 5 okay mm, how to begin well uh, first mm, left hand side uh, now mm, i'm going to use mm, integration so first on this side here we have one so uh, i can represent one uh, integral from zero to one uh, here one so if we integrate one we know x uh, if we apply limit 0 to 1 we have 1 then uh, 1 over 4 so I'm going to write x cube so if we integrate x cube we have x to the fourth over 4 so after apply limit we have 1 over 4 so same as we have plus x to the fifth minus x to the 8 plus x to the 10 minus x to the 13 plus this is going to infinity and finally we have dx okay uh, let's separate uh, plus terms and minus terms so we have integral from 0 to 1 1 plus x to the fifth power plus x to the tenth power plus next term we know x to the uh, 15th power plus this is going to uh, infinity then uh, minus here we have x cube minus terms so plus x to the 8 plus x to the 13th plus x to the uh, 18th plus uh, so on and here dx okay uh, as a next step i am going to use uh, sigma notation so we can represent this series by using uh, sigma notation so we can write uh, sum of sigma n is equal 1 to infinity now here uh, x to the fifth power raised to the n minus 1 power minus uh, this one uh, x cube x to the uh, fifth power raised to the n minus 1 and here we have dx okay let's simplify so we have uh, at the same time uh, we can um, interchange uh, the integral sign and uh, sigma notation so we have n is equal 1 to infinity integral from 0 to 1 uh, here x to the 5 times n minus 5 minus here x to the 5 times n uh, minus 5 plus 3 so minus 2 and dx okay let's integrate so here uh, we have simple integral because the general power rule of integration so here we have x to the 5 n minus 4 over 5 times n minus 4 minus 5 times n uh, sorry x to the 5 times n uh, minus 1 over 5 times n minus 1 uh, limit from 0 to 1 let's apply limit upper bound and lower bound so we have n is equal 1 to infinity uh, simply here 1 over 5 times n minus 4 minus 1 over 5 times n minus 1 okay now uh, our infinite series uh, begin with one uh, here one now uh, i'm going to take the index change the index n is equal zero to infinity uh, when we change the index uh, we are instead of n we have uh, n plus one so we have one over five times n uh, plus five minus four so plus one uh, then here 1 over 5 times n plus 4 well uh, now here we have 5 
I'm going to take 5 as a common factor. So we can write 1 over 5 here uh, n is equal 0 to infinity. Now 1 over n plus 1 over 5 minus 1 over n plus 4 over 5. Okay, now um, if we take the uh, first term of this series when n is equal to 0 so when n is equal to 0 we have uh, here uh, 1 over 5 so 5 so we have 5 uh, then here 5 over 4 so minus 5 over 4 this is the first term of uh, this infinite series then uh, series uh, begin with n is equal to 1 so we can write when n is equal 1 to infinity uh, here 1 over n plus 1 over 5 minus 1 over n plus 4 over 5 okay then uh, here 1 over 5 uh, if we simplify this one 4 times 5 20 20 minus 5 15 but here 5 so we have 3 over 4 then we should multiply so plus 1 over 5 then here uh, sum of n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over n plus 1 over 5 now I am going to add uh, infinite series I am going to add an uh, infinite series because I am going to use the the series representation of digamma function so I will explain so here I am going to uh, subtract sum of n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over n minus here n is equal 1 to infinity this one 1 over n plus 4 over 5 then here we subtract so here add so plus n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over n okay uh, then here 3 over 4 then minus 1 over 4 now i'm going to a little bit uh, uh, change little bit rearrange this one so minus 1 over 5 now i'm going to write uh, this one first so here minus so plus so uh, infinite sum 1 to infinity 1 over n uh, then this one so minus 1 over n plus 1 over 5 then uh, here again plus 1 over 5 uh, sum of n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over n minus here and uh, this part minus 1 over n plus 4 over 5 okay now uh, why i am rearrange uh, this series uh, like uh, this because uh, we know the digamma function digamma of c plus 1 is equal to minus gamma plus sum of n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over n minus 1 over n plus c this is the uh, series representation of uh, digamma function in previous videos we discuss about digamma function and also series representation so we prove this identity if you like to watch i will add the link in the description okay uh, let's move to our question so using this formula now we can write here uh, 3 over 4 minus 1 over 5 now instead of this part uh, we can write digamma of digamma of now here 1 over 5 here c here c so we know uh, digamma of 1 over 5 plus 1 uh, this minus gamma will be plus so plus gamma then plus 1 over 5 for this one we have 
डाइ गेमा ऑफ फोर ओवर फाइव प्लस वन प्लस गेमा ओके दिन हियर थ्री ओवर फोर नाउ माइनस वन ओवर फाइव हियर वी हैव डाइ गेमा ऑफ वन ओवर फाइव प्लस वन हियर प्लस गेमा सो वी हैव प्लस गेमा दिस वन ओवर फाइव I took as a common factor. So here we have minus di gamma of 4 over 5 plus 1 minus gamma. Now we know minus gamma plus gamma get cancelled. Okay, now uh, how to evaluate this value? Well, uh, let's call to recurrence formula of di gamma function. We already discussed about this formula and we proved di gamma of x plus 1 is equal to di gamma of x plus 1 over x uh, we can write here 3 over 4 minus 1 over 5 di gamma of here di gamma of uh, 1 over 5 plus 1 so we have di gamma of 1 over 5 uh, plus here 1 over x so 1 over 1 over 5 so we have 5 minus di gamma of now here uh, 4 over 5 4 over 5 minus 5 over 4 okay uh, then we can uh, simplify so here uh, 3 over 4 if we simplify this one 5 minus 5 over 4 but here we have 5 so 5 get cancelled 1 minus 1 over 4 minus uh, 3 over 4 uh, then here we have uh, minus 1 over 5 digamma of 1 over 5 digamma of 1 over 5 uh, minus digamma of 4 over 5 okay uh, we know 3 over 4 get cancelled so we have uh, 1 over 5 times di gamma of 4 over 5 minus di gamma of 1 over 5 uh, now how to find di gamma of 4 over 5 minus di gamma of 1 over 5 okay don't worry uh, let's recall the reflection formula of uh, di gamma function this one also we already discussed in previous videos di gamma of 1 minus x minus di gamma of x is equal to pi times cotangent of pi x now uh, i'm going to plug in 1 over 5 so what happened here di gamma of 1 minus 1 over 5 means 4 over 5 minus di gamma of 1 over 5 is equal to pi times cotangent of pi over 5 well this is the value uh, that we need so we have uh, here uh, 1 over 5 times 5 times cotangent of 5 over 5 so we have pi over 5 cotangent of pi over 5 okay this is the answer if you like this type of videos please subscribe this channel thank you for watching